we are going to be reading chapter four of our story. And each chapter has a little picture at the top. So there's Min Lee, and we'll see what she's doing. That night, Min Lee could not sleep. Ma's words echoed in her ears, and when she closed her eyes, she saw Ba's hand shaking from hard work, feeding the goldfish. Ma is right, Min Lee thought to herself. The goldfish is just another mouth to feed. I can't let Ba feed the goldfish. Ma and Ba work too hard for every grain of rice. Ba shouldn't have to feed the goldfish, too. Min Lee slipped quietly out of her bed and crept to the table where the goldfish was. They stared at each other, and Min Lee knew what she had to do. Quickly slipping on her shoes and jacket, she took the goldfish and left the house. It was late. The village was quietly asleep, and the stars above filled the sky like spilled salt on dry seaweed. Min Lee's footsteps seemed to hush the night, as she made her way toward the Jade River. At the edge of the river, Min Lee looked at her goldfish one last time. The moon shone above, so even in the darkness of light, the fish seemed to burn a bright orange. Its black eyes sparkled at her. Do you think she's going to let him go? I'm sorry I can't keep you, Min Lee whispered. I hope you will be all right in the river. And with those words, she emptied the bowl into the water. For a moment, the fish seemed shocked and was still, like a flickering flame on a match. Then it wiggled in the water and swam in circles, a joyful fire twirling in the water. Min Lee watched it and sighed. As the sound faded into the night, Min Lee realized it was an echo of her mother's impatient, frustrated noise. Ma will never stop sighing unless our fortune changes. But how will it ever change? Min Lee asked ruefully. I guess that it is just another question for the old man of the moon. Too bad no one knows how to get to Never Ending Mountain to ask him anything. The fish stopped swimming and looked up at Min Lee. I know where it is, it said. The female voice was high and soft, like the wind whistling through the reeds of the water. Min Lee stared. Did you say something? she asked. Yes, said the fish. I know how you can get to Never Ending Mountain and ask the old man of the moon a question. You're a talking fish? Min Lee asked, her words tumbling into each other with excitement. How can you talk? Most fish talk, said the fish. If you are willing to listen, one, of course, must want to hear. I do, Min Lee said, enthralled and eager. This was just like one of Ba's stories, she bubbled with excitement. How do you know the way to Never Ending Mountain? I've swum all of the oceans and rivers except for one, the fish said. And on my way to the last, the goldfish man caught me. I despaired in his cart, for I have seen and learned much of the world, including a way to never-ending mountain. Since you have set me free, I will tell you. You've swum all of the oceans and rivers, Minley asked. The question spilled, spilled like overflowing water. Which river haven't you seen? Why, haven't you, why have you traveled so much? Where is never-ending mountain? When did... This river is the one river I have not swum, the fish interrupted. I have waited a long time to see it, so I would like to start as soon as possible. You can ask the old man of the moon all your questions. Let me tell you how to let me tell you the way to get to him so I can be off. Minley nodded and asked no more. She realized she was having a conversation with a goldfish, which was very unusual, so she decided to listen. 